Recording in progress. Hello, my name is Wahid Lutfi. Welcome to my Web University Free Educational Videos. On this session, uh, I'm going to follow up with uh, the next Bash GUI scripting with Zenity. But before I do that one, you see that this uh, video that I posted uh, 23 hours ago last night, it is uh, basically showing you how to uh, write Bash scripting to generate a graphical user interface. GUI stands for graphical user interface. But in order to have a, a desktop kind of uh, version on a Linux uh, platform, uh, you need to just have X window and then a lot of other configuration uh, in place in order to be able to remote uh, log into a Linux server from a Windows machine. So let me show you how to do that. First, uh, uh, as you see that I'm on a Windows machine here, if I just open my command prompt here, and just to show you that I'm running command prompt here, so in this uh, command prompt that opens here, I could do a system info and pipe more and then actually give me uh, the information that uh, saying that this is running Windows 10, as you can see above here, with the uh, rest of information that I need, like uh, CPU and memory and processor, all that details and uh, uh, information is there. So I actually uh, cut SSH from this machine here to uh, where I want to do, but um, I'm using a desktop version of it, which is called a Bitwise Client. I can show you the command line as well, but there's no need to because um, most of you will just uh, download uh, like Bitwise or SSH, SSH for Secure Shell for uh, uh, WinG or whatever uh, is the tool that you're using. Secure SSH is the uh, Bitwise SSH that I'm using here. So when you click on this one, uh, this time it is going to uh, require a host name, which I provide and then the username and then uh, click on login. And it's gonna use port 22. Then I'm going to provide a password that is all secret to me. So um, I uh, do that one and then uh, log in. Now I have um, a session. But notice under the terminal here, I have uh, set up the display to say uh, X11 forwarding is enabled, 127.0.0, and then uh, display zero colon zero. Or usually this translates to a display that is available on the terminal, like 10 or whatever number, then you get that uh, if you're the first one to connect. And here, I, I have not run any uh, software yet, so uh, just this is a search. It's going to open this uh, session for me on uh, the Linux machine here. And if I just exit out of this one, all I have to do is on Bitwise, click here, then I am automatically uh, connected to the same server. First, uh, I need to do export um, PS1. PS1 is equal. I'm just going to make my prompt smaller so that way you don't see this uh, W Lutfi all the time with the uh, host name information. I don't need that one. And then I just clear my screen and do a PWD I'm, uh, on the current working directory here. If I say, who am I? You can see that I'm W Lutfi, but I'm coming from this remote IP address, which is the local machine that I'm uh, connected through um, Windows. Don't worry about uh, somebody knowing this information because all these IP address, as soon as I'm done, I turn, turn off the PC and uh, there's no uh, connection made. And if uh, you are able to connect to the remote server, normally uh, you have to have a, a valid account and password and everything. And those ones are normally encrypted. So it is safe, but uh, nobody is gonna hack a website uh, just uh, to train other people. <laughs> Who's going to do that? And if you are just um, having some sort of problem that you still want to just hack somebody to just uh, not help others, then you have a major problem. I wouldn't worry about my side. I will worry about your help. And so if you're a hacker and you're listening to me, Please don't get uh, discouraged for my words. I don't mean anything. 
I just uh, making sure that uh, you're um, hacking example, something that is uh, worth something for you, not uh, hurting uh, poor people that are learning for school and uh, getting a job. So here, um, uh, even the rich people, nobody should hack them. I am not saying that it's okay to write, uh, hacking is wrong. So uh, here we uh, have done it. And so I'm going to say, who am I? And I see that one, but if I say echo dollar sign display, you can see I'm coming here. At this time, if I just say X term, notice that I'm going to get a, uh, cannot open the display local host because on the Windows site, I did not allow the X host. And you can see that it's a such uh, stuff is coming here. So you need a, like a, a kind of a terminal emulator for X session which is the free software Xmain does that. So I run that one on the client side. Now the display is um, exported on the server side. And the reason it is done because of this um, X option that I showed you on this one, right here, this one X forwarding. And on the server side, grep minus I X11 um, forward, forwarding, um, and then ETC is SSHD. Uh, SSH, SSHD underscore config. This file, it just says, yeah, X forwarding is yes, enable. And the other one is commented, the no. So this is not being, being read, but this one is yes. So that means I can now undo uh, echo dollar sign display. And then since my terminal is set, I can type in X term and it will open a X terminal session. And as you can see, the default, if I don't give any argument to the extern session, basically it is just going to open a default one, which is very small fonts and everything. So you can adjust that one. I'll show you how to adjust that one once it opens. So right here, it is already open. And this is the terminal that is there. I can uh, run other command inside here, like extern or X clock or X eyes or something like, for example, say X eyes um, and run that one. And then um, just do this and you can see that X eyes comes up in here and you can see that one is um, running here. But at this time, if I just uh, exit out of this one and then type in exit out here, I'm done here. Echo dollar sign question mark saying that this was successful zero. So uh, uh, what I'm, I need to do is do a X term minus BG for background. And I'm gonna say pound um, zero, zero, let's say 25 for uh, darkish green. Zero, zero was, uh, this one was red, uh, red, green, and then blue. So blue and uh, red is zero, and then a 25 is darkish uh, green background. Minus foreground, I'm going to just use the white color. So white would be all three uh, Fs or all six F and doesn't matter. You can even shorten it with three a letter, it will understand. And then um, minus font size, I'm gonna just give it a font size of 30. So it's a little bit bigger. And then minus face, what type of uh, this, I'm going to say New York. Let's say the font uh, faces uh, New York. And then if I just do an ampersand background here, you can see that it's going to uh, open it in the background here uh, with uh, the X term uh, with that size here. And then I'm going to do the same uh, command here. This time I'm gonna just say minus, uh, this one is 25. And then uh, notice this one uh, opens up a nice uh, background, uh, dark uh, green color here. So I can type in the calendar command, who command, clear the screen, uh, you name minus A, cut etc host, OS dash release. Any command I do, it's okay. So if I just exit out of this one now, I just uh, use the same command here. This one, I'm gonna do a darkish um, red. So uh, the uh, red is 25 and this, the font was size was all okay. I could just uh, go a little bit smaller, 28, and then uh, New York is fine. And so this the other command that I ran was um, uh, finished. 
because I closed it and now it's prompting saying done. But this one that I just spawned it is gonna just open now. So just to uh, show you a number of things, you can do that one. And then um, notice that's very nice looking here also with red um, background, dark red. So um, you name minus A, cut etc was dash release, uh, Zenity. Now we have this one dash dash calendar. We can do GUI like uh, open a Zenity calendar and it will do the same thing. But uh, just uh, we have to uh, be patient to just see it right here. You can see today is um, December 20th of 2022 and it is uh, accurate uh, information here. And then at the same time, we can run other commands. Let's just run this other one uh, here. Now, the other one will also say uh, done. The next one, I'm not gonna run it in the background. So I'm going to uh, just say, go ahead, do the blue one, zero, zero, and then darkish blue, also 25. Uh, so it is um, darker blue. I could make it even uh, 30, just to uh, look at a little bit lighter than the other ones. So the numbers are important. The large, the higher that you get the number, uh, like 255 would be and the um, color or 155 or something, a uh, higher number is gonna make it lighter. Um, but um, anything with lower number, it's going to make it darker. So this is a really nice uh, looking as well in the command here. And then you can also resize this one. You can see that it is uh, uh, resizable. So if it is was done for this command that I have here, I can just say, okay, it was done for that command here. And then if I do ls minus l, you can see that the files are there. Um, uh, who is logged on on the system, ID, clear screen, who am I? Any command that you do, uh, Zenity, uh, dash, dash, uh, let's say a color selection, uh, and then dash, dash, color, dash, palette. So if I just do that one uh, pa palette, see if uh, it opens the color palette with that option. So now since this option is not uh, defined most likely, I must have had one type on the palette. So let me do export PS1 is equal dollar sign and dollar sign and then this. Now I change my prompt. This command is a little bit left-sided. So let's just say uh, I'm going to uh, make this one the whole screen. And then my uh, command that was there, this uh, Zenity dash dash color selection, uh, it did not um, uh, understood that one. Uh, let's see if I have a typo, maybe palette is uh, without the E. No, I don't think so. Yeah, so and the way you find out the answer to that question, you say um, Zenity dash dash help dash color dash selection. So this one will just give you the option for the color selection and then it's actually show palette, not color palette. So all you have to do is up arrow here and then change this one to show and then palette had the E. So I'm going to correct that one and you can see that it is, I'm going to return the valid palette for you and then you can just um, go there. And if you selected this color uh, out of the option that you do, um, whatever color you selected, you just say select and then it will just uh, return that color. And if you just say Zenity dash dash um, color dash selection and then um, dash dash color, you see dash, this dash dash color option? then you can just say um, what color you wanna do. So I could say red, green, blue, and then I could just say, uh, let's open it with two, uh, zero, uh, zero comma 255, uh, and then a zero. Actually, let's do it with uh, 55. Uh, so for the dark green uh, color, it's not too dark, it's um, kind of like greenish 
color, but it is a little bit dark, not too dark. So if you do that one, and then it's opening that color selection, it's gonna pick it up. And then since the um, menu shows up, notice that the whole options are given here, but this is the 055 is this color right here. And then this one, if you just change here, whatever number you just change, it's gonna be that number. So let's say I change it to that one. When I say select, that number will return 22. So in a, in a case, if I wanna go back to that number, 22, 36, and then 22, will just give me that color in a nice um, interface here. Okay. So um, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to just um, show you another uh, bash script, how to do that one for that one, stay tuned. Uh, and uh, make sure you watch the, all the videos to the end. So you learn uh, bash scripting with graphical user interface using Xenity. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.